Their bodies and souls put to the test by disease and disaster, and for one, it was a slow march toward severe disability. For others, devastating crashes did the same, but as KITV4's Laria Mata explains, they found in art a way to live again. I always say if I can't surf the waves, at least I can still paint them. A wave as bright as it is blue. A golden god shedding a tear of fire. I love the island colors. Painter Mo Hamilton still captures his passions, even after a near fatal crash. It was actually told by most of my doctors I probably would never breathe on my own again. Only now, not by hand, but by mouth. I didn't get to share my experiences, my love of life, my love of art, and you know, to show others that have been through hardships that there's a lot to do still in life after disability and accidents and tragedies. He started off painting with his hands, and then gradually he went to his mouth. A kindred spirit, an island away. Morris Nakamura, one of several in his family afflicted by muscular dystrophy, including his brother, former Honolulu Police Chief Michael Nakamura. Morris's wife Elsa says art was the outlet he used to help himself and others. That was his passion to be with other people, to encourage you know other people to strive to do the best you can in your life. And he told me one day in bed, whatever you do, let me get out that door. So that's the promise I made for him. Oh, In May, Morris died from complications of the disease. And it's nice. Every day I look at him and I see my friends. His friend Alex, a mouth painter too, honoring the craft that cracked through his tragedy and his friendship with Morris that lifted his spirits. I asked him to paint that for me. Then he did. And I love it. I see his, um, the joy in his heart, yeah, that he expressed through his paintings, but I saw also his determination, the determination to continue to live as long as he could. In his own way, he taught me life's lesson that I hopefully passing on to my children. As I went along, I've noticed that my eyes got happier as I've become more fulfilled. An expression of something deep in his soul, he says. Hamilton now sharing what he's learned, one stroke at a time. Love the life you have because no matter how hard it seems, it's always a miracle to be here on this world and be able to think and use our mind to overcome the obstacles set in front of us. Laura Yamada, KITV4 News. All three artists give high praise to the Creative Arts Program at the Rehabilitation Hospital of the Pacific. Yeah, and in the past 20 years, it's helped more than 700 patients with over 70,000 art sessions. Wonderful to see what they do.